Oh. Hello, where do you stand? Stand on what the political compass? Yeah. Uh, I'd say on the left. So how far are you on the left? Not not very far. Not totalitarian. No. Somewhat uh, democratic socialist, I guess. So what are some of the policies you would like to change, and how and why? Yeah, uh, universal healthcare, universal education, all that stuff. Mostly. What about you? Ah, uh, I'm 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 a bit right, you know. Where are you from? Uh, Europe. Uh, where in Europe, though? Croatia. Croatia. Nice. Yeah. So, w w what's your stand on universal healthcare and universal education? Do you support that or not? I would like to see it privatized. <laughs> I would like to see okay. a private scheme because there have been examples yeah. of uh, mutual voluntary mutual aid yeah. insurance companies, fraternal societies mm -hmm. that take care of each other and it used to be the case that for a day's work a low paid worker mm -hmm. could get a year's worth of health care coverage health services mm -hmm. that was no longer the case once they once the state ended this program by uh, implementing mandatory insurance tax which the workers could not afford to pay mm -hmm. so they switched yeah. from the voluntary to the mandatory option and it went away they had this in uh, america england and australia about a hundred years ago yeah. and if you everything in health yeah. in health care service sectors which used to be very very cheap basically i also find a lot yeah. of uh, medicines on alibaba uh, that are very yeah. cheap and could be resold on you know i think i could resell them very cheaply and provide a lot of products to a lot of people but it's all illegal without uh, be being part of the state cartel you can't do anything basically but mm. yeah about, but then, yes, but then this, like when you talk about medicine there's also the issue of big pharma and all the patents right yes like uh, a, a pen of a, a pencil and Cost so much, like in, uh, no, sorry, not insulin. Insulin costs yes. so much. It's so important for diabetes people. Yes. Diabetic people. So, like, there are super. There are certain companies are making super profits because of the capitalist enterprise, and uh, people are dying because of that. I don't. I personally don't think that's fair enough. If I believe, I I, I do agree that to a certain extent, free market is necessary. But market isn't free. There are monopolies everywhere, uh, and they're being protected by certain by this whole structure yes they are they are protected by the state For patents are government granted monopolies basically in uh, yeah. in america people pay hundreds of dollars for these insulins but exactly. they can get them for pennies from mexico yeah. illegally and if we remove these yeah. barriers if we allow free trade people it, they the cartels would basically is be dismantled by this uh, competition and these products are available for very cheap in some places yeah you're right you're right i agree with you hmm. so how how is uh, the healthcare functioning where where you live uh, I'm, I'm in india i'm in india and uh, the healthcare structure is uh, pretty bad it's uh, it's terrible right now especially during the pandemic like uh, uh, like lakhs of people have uh sorry lack isn't a term that you would i think be familiar with uh millions of people have died uh during uh, the corona pandemic only because they couldn't could not get access to oxygen those lives could, could have been saved uh the healthcare system in india is uh, has suffered a lot because of uh, red tapeism because of corruption in the government and uh, the private sector uh, wasn't um, the private sector is too expensive. People are extremely poor here. Yeah. Uh, like nine, the one top one percent owns uh, more than ninety-five percent of the wealth. So 
people can't afford private hospitals. It costs around almost, I don't know how, uh, uh, how to convert this, but uh, uh, if, if, I have, if, if I'm supposed to talk in dollars, then a day's uh, stay in the hospital costs uh, anyone around, uh, say, uh, 60 to 70 dollars. I think that, that's a lot like, for, for a common Indian man. Yeah, so it's terrible here. Yeah, it's it's hard there. Huh? Yeah, it's 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 pretty bad right now. Uh, what's the situation there? You guys are getting vaccines and all? Yeah, uh, we are doing. I I I think you know I don't really keep up with the local news too much. I I live on the internet, but yeah, it seems like things are getting better here. Yeah. Mm, you you got vaccinated, or are you? Uh, I didn't. No. I didn't. No. Okay. A lot of uh, older mm -hmm. people did. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I did actually. Uh, nice, it's, nice. It's, but 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 still, only only like uh, population in India is like almost uh, only second to China. Yeah. So so the coverage of the total population is barely three percent. Only the privileged like me are have have been vaccinated. I could go to a private hospital, pay large amounts of money, and get myself vaccinated. So yeah. How how do you how do you have so much money if, in India? How do you, how did you succeed? Uh, mostly uh, mostly family wealth, like generational wealth. Yeah. My forefathers were big landowners, and we just sold off the land, and uh, we utilized that to continue. Let's see, land reforms in India weren't, weren't complete. Like the people in India, India has this weird, weird thing called the caste system. I don't know if you're aware of that. Caste system is mostly like uh, in Hindu in Hinduism. It's it's an archaic tradition, which is looked down upon now, which is shunned in the public. There is affirmative action also to get rid of that for the last 60, uh, 70 years, but it hasn't gone anywhere. So the people who belong to the upper caste have traditionally, historically, have more have had more wealth, and the people who belonged to the lower castes had had traditionally and historically uh, acted as servants, and uh, they've had little land and little wealth. Uh, so when we got independence from the British Empire, the government tried to bring about certain land reforms, certain reforms, but these things are so structural, so integral to our 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 society that uh, that 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 the upper strata still will still exist like the top one percent is still the upper castes the lower castes don't have much money uh, they have tried to they have reached up to certain good administrative uh, positions but still it hasn't permeated into like there hasn't been a trickle down economics so to say uh, in india it has started to happen though but after 2014 since the modi government took over it has been a downward trend especially in the pandemic uh, it's, it's, it has become horrible. Like mm. India had a huge, a huge middle class. Like every every foreign country wanted to come to India because it was such a big market. It's such a huge market for uh, consumer production, such a huge consumption. And uh, obviously, our IT sector was booming at least till 2012. But then everything just started to go downwards, and it's it's actually in a very very bad shape right now. Mm. So, what are your views of the future? Is it going to get better or worse? Uh, so, currently, the the problem with India is that uh, people are too emotional, and they're too religious. Well, I have nothing against being religious. I'm, I, I myself am not an atheist. I do believe in some sort of some sort of semblance of God that there is some personal religion that I have. But uh, in India, the political parties are mostly uh, not quite interested in economic development. They like that people stay poor so that they can have fights over it, they can have electoral promises they can make and then win elections. So I'm not very hopeful right now under the present government. The present government is a, is a right-wing government uh, that 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 one that has uh, only one on polarization. They have just pitted Hindus against Muslims and upper castes against lower castes. So their rhetoric is just that, and they have like really incompetent people at higher positions. They have uh, elected people of the clergy, the Hindu clergy, uh, 
the Hindu priests and uh, temple uh, chiefs at uh, political positions, which which is uh, which has been very detrimental to Indian economics because they don't know shit. They have they are not educated people. So uh, that's a that's a huge problem. The last part, the other parties of India have educated people, but they just don't have enough money or support from the industrialists. So these parties support certain certain industrialists. And those industrialists, uh, wealth has doubled or quadrupled in the pandemic. Okay, well, most of Indians have just become poorer. The, those industrialists, it's crony capitalism going on here. Yeah. And I don't, I don't quite see uh, India coming out of it quite soon. At least you will probably survive this yeah, thing. Like, uh, yeah, like India, India, well, India has managed like under the col under colonial. Uh, rule India managed. So we will manage, we will get through this, but I don't know how long it will take. Uh, anyway, so, so are, are, are you in college? I, I dropped out of college. I'm no longer in college. All right. Uh, how, how, what, what do you do? Like, how, how do you spend your time? Like, um, are, are you, uh, do, do you work somewhere or do you spend your time uh, doing other things? Uh, I don't work much. I'm self-employed mostly, kind of. Mm -hmm. I trade cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. I resell electronics. Uh, uh, yeah. On interesting. Flea markets on Facebook and uh, things like that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm kind of, you know, working on my own projects right now. Yeah. That's nice. Crypto, crypto is the new big thing. I, I am just too scared of it, especially since the Elon Musk fiasco and all the, <laughs> all, yeah. and it's crashing really bad. Yeah. Uh, some of my friends uh, lost a lot of money in crypto. So, oh, yeah, wow. it's, it's very unpredictable. So I, I'm a little, I'm a little scared about crypto. You gotta have nerves of steel if you wanna play in the <laughs> <laughs> game. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for, uh, see, for a job? Uh, I, 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 uh, I, I am not working right now, uh, but uh, I, I am actually still studying. I want to get into the academia. I want to get uh, become a professor one day, hopefully. Mm. So I'm doing research work right now. I'm trying to work to my way towards PhD, uh, PhD, a doctorate, a PhD. Uh, what field? Uh, history. History. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. So why did you choose history? Um, I don't know. I, I, I was I was really bad at science. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> but but no no that that's that side I was I, I was uh, I just had a a lot of interest in history. My my it's been it's been like a family thing also like my. Uh, fathers and forefathers and everyone has has had a connection with history my uncle's a professor so it's the family thing also plus i i like i like i really like history I enjoy studying history and people and societies so that's kind of my thing yeah man well, i traveled a lot i do not travel you don't like traveling and i stay at home mostly what about you uh I have traveled in in my country, but not outside. Uh, it's just uh, too expensive to travel outside. Like I, I am uh, very privileged, but I'm not that privileged that I can uh, afford to travel afford to travel to Europe. Like if you ca convert the currency, the currency is like oh my god, <laughs> I can't afford it there. It would it would be my uh, weeks weeks pocket money for one meal so yeah it's just yeah. too much you, you can come to croatia everything is cheap here and so it, it shouldn't okay. be a big problem what, what's what's uh what's what's the currency there it's, uh, do you guys use a euro or it's, uh, it's... we use our own currency our own country's currency all right cool. yeah. but but i still think it must, it must be uh, uh way way more than in like see for if a conversion rate would be like one Indian rupee is a uh, hundred euros and one Indian rupee is, uh, is around seventy or eighty dollars, US dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh man, you got any more interesting ideas about stuff? I um, no, I was just I just couldn't sleep, so I was just randomly scrolling through my.
That's not very different. It is this exactly midnight here right now. Oh, that's uh, yeah. So Croatia is uh, Eastern Europe, right? Mm. You get closer to Russia. Yeah. 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 So that's like three hours, diff three th three hours and a half. Yeah. That's not much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how did you? How would you change education? Would you change the programs? Would you change the way we learn? Or would you just make it free for the people who can't afford it? Or... See, I see. I, I honestly, uh, see, uh, I have a lot of people that I know who come from um, very poor backgrounds. And public uh, universities in India was something that was a good thing that happened after after the independence in 1947. So since uh, a lot of public universities were set up and the education fee is very less, like I pay uh, in, in a government university, which is one of the good universities in the, like it comes in the international rankings, the Delhi University. Uh, I got, I pay around uh, uh, 10,000 rupees a year, which isn't much like to be honest. And some universities are even more subsidized. They pay like 500 rupees a month. A month, which is which would be what five euros, five euros a year. Sorry, five euros a year they pay for. A year. So uh, that's that, that's very cheap. And uh, I've seen a lot of people coming from extremely poor backgrounds, uh, excelling at life because of public universities. So I, I I actually believe that public universities, their education should be free for all, and it should be a quality education, and. Um, and uh, I, I have nothing against private uni universities as long as they exist along public university. They don't have a private university, uh, or she had to pay like millions of money to get into that university. So that, that's a separate story. But uh, government universities help a lot of livelihoods. And I've seen that happening with friends, with family, with relatives. So I, I, I believe that uh, education quality education needs to uh, be taken care of by uh, the government. Hmm. Okay, interesting. What's yeah. it like in uh, Russia? Uh, we oh, have, oh, what's it like? like what's the education scene? Uh, we have uh, free college, I think, but it's only free for the, yeah, for, uh, I don't know how to explain um, it. It's, it's kind of free, but some things you have to pay for sometimes. There are also yeah, it's private alternatives. Right? Yeah, things like that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's subsidized here also. Like we have to pay, but but not like uh, a lot of money. Like teachers get a good decent amount of money, but it does it doesn't usually come from our uh, pockets. It comes from the taxpayers, uh, like the government's uh, reserves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, why did you uh, did you not feel like? continuing with education do you, do you feel like it's not worth it like there's no returns to it like, in terms yeah. of investment and return yeah true i i i don't i didn't first i was very bad at it i was bad at everything there so as soon as i quit i just started seeing so many <laughs> opportunities and so many i started developing so many skills and creating so many projects and uh, i basically became pretty wealthy yeah. considering that i was very young when i quit university i was I, I yeah. did pretty good when i left basically i, I started yeah. building my own house off grid and i gained oh. a, a high degree of independence i cut my spending my expenses drastically and i learned to manage my resources more efficiently yeah, and I learned a lot of stuff on the internet for free, from yeah. software to cryptos to uh, to engineering, marketing, and uh, business and stuff like that. Yeah, but school, college, it's it wasn't very it wasn't useful for me. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Croatia was uh, was it ever part of the USSR? 
No, it it used to be Yugoslavia. It used to be Yugoslavia. All right. I don't know much about the history, but I just some bits about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but but it it was under the under the say indirect hand of the Soviet Union, no? Indirect influence. Uh, like the economy and all of this was sort of dictated. It was yeah. It was it was like yeah. Lefties often use Yugoslavia as an example of the uh, closest to the ideal society that they would advocate for. So yeah, yeah. it was it was kind of all over the place. It used to be. Like the the president of Yugoslavia used to have like um, meetings with people in America in the West. You you can find yeah. pictures, and yeah, it was also very socialist. So yeah. Yeah. So what's it like right now? Is it is it like uh, completely completely um, uh, right capitalist and uh, or uh, total moving towards totalitarian right or what? I don't, like. What's the thing like right now? It's kind of neoliberal. Yeah, it's kind hmm. of like most of the world. Like India is also neoliberal. Lots of cronyism and corruption, basically hmm. like any other country. <laughs> like like all the countries out there. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, that's how that's it is. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, but but I've seen I've seen some photos of Croatia. I think it's a it's a beautiful country. It's it's on the Mediterranean, right? If, if I'm not wrong. Yes. So do you live near the near the uh, near the sea? I'm not very near the sea. It's not okay. far, that far away, I guess. Considering it's it's Croatia isn't that big, so yeah. Yeah, but but uh, whatever I've seen, I've seen in Bollywood. Do you know Bollywood? Like our our film our film industry. Like some some parts are have they've shot in so, some Croatian uh, cities and oh, really? uh, on, yeah near the near the uh, near the oceans or the, on the beaches I think yeah they so, they, they filmed a Doctor Who episode uh, in Croatia so yeah people often go there to yeah. make cool movies I guess yeah like uh, so I I know that that it's it's really beautiful. Hmm. We get lots of tourists. It's a booming tourism industry. Mm. Yeah, like, but I guess since the pandemic, it must have been. Yeah, really yeah it tanked hard yeah. when the COVID hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's everywhere. That's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> so, so, so what's, what's your, uh, what's your age like? Uh, what's why? What? Age, age, age. How, how old are you? 24. How old are you? Oh, same. Oh, same. I'm. I'm 24. I nice. turned 25 yeah, this year. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So do don't you have to go to sleep? <laughs> uh, yeah. My sleep pattern has been really messed up. Uh, big since uh, since the pandemic, like all days have been merged into one. I don't have a schedule since all the colleges are closed. There's, there's not much to do. Everything is in a standstill. We're just trying to survive. So uh, I sleep in the day. I wake up in the night. It's 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 like that. Yeah, that's so, for, for me too as yeah. well. Yeah. So well, that's that's the scene. Like, I mean, there's not much to do. Hey man, it's been really cool chatting with you. You are a really cool guy. Yeah, man. Same. Hey, can I ask sorry, you? Sorry. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, you sure. Ah, uh, I have a tiny YouTube channel, and uh, I I have I'm recording always when I chat with people on Omegle on about politics, and if, right. if it's cool with you, I would, yeah, yeah. I would put it on YouTube. But if you don't want, I can delete it, and uh, you know it's fine. Uh, uh, so can you just uh, share with me uh, what, what your YouTube channel is and just course, take a look at course. it? Oh wow, it's really nice. Yeah, sure, you can you can do the Thank, thank you, you very can. much. <laughs> I, I'll I'll subscribe to I'll subscribe to your thank channel. You <laughs> I will uh -huh. get it. Okay. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, bro. All yeah, the best. Have fun. Thanks for the subscribe. Thanks. Have fun. Good night, man.